Middle East Technical University is located in Ankara, the capital and the second most populous city of Turkey. As of today, the population of Ankara is approximately 5.6 million. Having one of the largest university campuses in Turkey, Middle East Technical University aims at creating a modern on-campus transportation system in line with the principles of sustainable transportation. The goal is to improve the campus transportation system in an eco-friendly, energy-efficient, smart, unimpeded, accessible, and safe way in order to provide the necessary structure to encourage traveling on campus by bicycle and on foot to reduce the use of personal vehicles by improving the quality of public transportation alternatives. Middle East Technical University has a total enrollment of approximately 22,684 students, over 2,736 academic and 2,618 administrative staff. Middle East Technical University campus has an area of 4,500 hectares, of which 3,400 hectares are covered by forest. The built environment covers an area of approximately 220 hectares. There are seven gates on campus, three of which are actively open to people's entry and exit. The A1 gate provides an access to all public transportation vehicles such as metro, bus, and minibus. For this reason, it is the gate with the highest traffic density. The A4 gate is also one of the busiest gates because it is located close to areas where many students reside. The A7 gate is mostly preferred by the persons of Technopolis and residents of the relevant region of the city. From the very beginning, the campus was designed as pedestrian friendly as possible by separating pedestrian traffic and vehicular traffic strictly. And there are also certain restrictions of entry at the gates. In time, with the newly opened units, increasing campus population and increasing use of personal vehicles, a significant rise has been observed in the number of vehicles entering the campus daily. Although it varies daily and seasonally, the average number of vehicles entering the Middle East Technical University campus per day is around 1,200. The results of the study carried out by Alton Tash show that the approximately 45% of the vehicles entering spent less than 15 minutes inside the campus, while approximately 22% of the vehicles spends one to five hours inside. There are approximately 1,000 vehicles on a daily basis traveling from one destination to another inside the campus. Emission measurements, such as how many vehicles enter the campus, how much distance they cover, and their average speed while traveling inside the campus were carried out. The evaluations show that reducing the number of personal vehicles traveling across the campus could significantly reduce the emissions accordingly. In the campus, several measurements and surveys were carried out to determine the quality of the pedestrian lanes on the Middle East Technical University campus. According to the surveys, most students found the walking areas of the campus sufficient. However, some of them state that the infrastructure of the pedestrian lanes needed to be improved against weather conditions. Moreover, the study indicated that students had positive evaluations of the presence of the trees on the sidewalks, despite the fact that the trees narrowed the walking areas. Taking this into account, the sidewalks were redesigned and started to be improved without giving up the trees. In another study carried out, the use of parking lots and parking violations in the campus were analyzed. As a result, a parking lot management strategy was proposed to address the problems caused by parking violations, such as reduced road capacity, traffic safety risks, and increased fuel consumption. It is suggested that the proper strategic planning parking lots can be benefit from more efficiently without having to provide more parking spaces. 
Middle East Technical University considers the issue of sustainable transportation among its priorities. Therefore, there are various studies being conducted and practices being used in this area while shaping the policies of sustainable transportation at Middle East Technical University, scientific studies conducted on the university campus are benefit from its addition to administrative analysis. In total, there are 56 parking lots with varying capacities on the campus. Since the rising population of the campus over the years had led to the inadequacy of these parking spaces, several alternative policies have been developed to benefit from the parking lots as effectively as possible and to reduce the traffic stemming from personal vehicles. The fact that a significant percentage of the vehicles entering the campus do not spend much time inside and leave shortly afterwards makes it easier to manage the parking lots at Middles Technical University. Some of the parking lots at the university are relatively distant from the center of the campus Therefore, people can either walk or take a shuttle bus after parking their vehicles there. One of these parking lots at the entrance of the A1 gate. The reason why this parking lot is located here is to encourage the people to go to their destination on campus on foot or by taking a shuttle bus after leaving their vehicles here. Only vehicles with stickers are allowed to enter the campus. In order for those who do not own a sticker to enter the campus with their private vehicles, they must leave their ID cards at the gate security and get a visitor card. Even though the stickers allow drivers to enter the campus, it does not mean that they can leave their vehicles at any parking lot on the campus. There are different parking areas allocated for different sticker owners. There is an annual fee required for the stickers and different fees apply for guest vehicles, alumni vehicles, academic and administrative staff vehicles, and vehicles of Technopolis personnel. Moreover, additional measures are implemented to keep the traffic density on campus under control. Technopolis, which is located on campus, has a significant number of employees. In order to discourage the Technopolis personnel from entering the campus, we are A1 and A4 gates where the vehicle density is normally quite high. The sticker fees for Technopolis personnel that allow entering the campus through these gates are four times more expensive than regular stickers. In this way, the distance that Technopolis personnel needs to cover on the campus is also shortened, which contributes to the reduction of emissions. Besides the already existing measures to prevent unauthorized parking and on-street parking violations, relevant university press also carry out regular inspections. The pedestrian-friendly university, Middle East Technical University, has strictly separated vehicle and pedestrian traffic to encourage walking and the use of bicycles. There are pedestrian and bike lanes in between many buildings isolated from vehicular traffic. The buildings are not located far away from one another so that one can walk without problems. The roads and pavements are barrier-free, safe and marked properly. There is a project that's still in the works aiming at creating a shared fleet of bicycles free of charge for the students. Traffic on the campus is one of the vital elements of a safe, sustainable transportation. One of the research, which is Middle East Technical University campus and transportation survey for our students covering issues such as sustainable transportation, access to campus, on-campus access and campus traffic safety. The results of the survey show that nearly 90% of the participants state that they felt safe in traffic on campus. Regarding the issue of speed, which is one of the most important elements of traffic safety, 84% of the participants state that the speed limits on the campus are convenient, while 86% found the speed bumps on the campus effective and necessary. 89% of the participants of the survey state that they knew the traffic rules on the campus. However, 23% of them found the traffic signs and markings insufficient. Furthermore, another survey which is conducted studies examining the population densities of the several regions on the Metu campus. 
Upon the results obtained from the studies, a number of improvements were made, such as increasing the number of crosswalks, marking the pedestrian priority zones to make them more visible, increasing the number of traffic signs, and some additional regulations to enable pedestrians to see the vehicular traffic more easily, as well as enabling drivers to see pedestrians more easily as they get closer to crosswalks. Several economic methods of public transportation are available to reach Middles Technical University campus such as metro, buses and minibuses operated by both the municipality and the private enterprises. Every day, an average of 1,200 personnel use the university personal shuttles which covered 42 different regions of the city to commit to the campus with an agreement signed between the municipality of Ankara and our university in 2020, the municipality has been providing free shuttle buses on weekdays, taking passengers from the campus entrance to the units inside the campus and back every 15 minutes. Furthermore, there is a student discount on bus, minibus and metro fares in order to encourage public transportation. In addition, for the same purposes, the university administration remains in communication with the units and organizations responsible for operating public transportation services in order to provide the best possible conditions in terms of the overall comfort and accessibility of the vehicles, the time interval between each service, diversity of the routes, planning of stops, and so on. Furthermore, information such as routes of public transportation vehicles and departure times are shared at stops as well as on mobile applications. By making sure vehicles are not left idling while waiting at stops, unnecessary fuel consumption is prevented. Well, thanks to a mobile application called Me to Pass, the necessary information of guests is shared with the security person at the gates before the guests arrive at the campus, which shortens the time spent at the gates waiting and thus reduces unnecessary fuel consumption. Excluding the shuttle buses for personal, the number of service vehicles operated by the university is kept to a minimum. As of today, there are 46 vehicles being operated for various purposes. Illuminations and visual markings on the streets of the campus are made in accordance with the traffic rules. There are 19 dormitories at the university with a total capacity of 7,358. Approximately 40% of students stay in dormitories, while approximately 12% of the person live in the staff houses. Various alternatives of social areas such as restaurants, cafes, sport fields, etc. are located on the entire campus appropriately. These aforementioned factors play a vital role in keeping the use of personal vehicles and the need for vehicle mobility inside the campus. The first charging station for electric vehicles at Middles Technical University was established in 2019 to encourage the use of zero emission vehicles among staff and students. Moreover, staff and students are also encouraged to share their vehicles. Well, thanks to all these effective practices, despite the increasing campus population, our university managed to reduce the number of vehicles entering the university by approximately 30% and increase the use of shuttles by 12% in 2019.